Hello guys, what's up and we're back again. For a while it was been a while that we got this tech tech. But so here is another list that we need to check in the March of the Machines Aftermath Standard, which we call this one as one. We call it only one by Anonymous. A user submitted that list from MTG Goldfish. And as we've noticed, this looking to be like a John Colors, so that is black, green, and red. But with the synergy of being aggro deck in sub basically divided into 12 artifacts, uh, 22 creatures, 1 sorcery, uh, 4 instance, and 22 lands. So we're going to dive through the deck discussion. Uh, starting up with our probably 11 1 drops here. So we have 3 copies of Haywire Might. This is sort of be a 1 drop that has this ability to become an utility creature in the form of exiling target non creature artifact or non creature enchantment. But the purpose here is that we can go well with triggering uh, artifact ETBs or artifact enter the battlefield. That is with this creature that is uh, probably the core of this one. The Titan Wormlet from Brothers War. As they attach, as long as you control the armor artifacts, and there's an artifact uh, on the battlefield under your control will gain one life. And then, if it's the first time that ability is resolved, we'll put a counter in it. So it's initially a 1 1. It becomes a 2 2 for each of the turns that has. An artifact enter the, the battlefield under your control, and having multiple copies of it will basically get you a good uh, army of uh, wormlets that has became that can become uh, so bigger and bigger as long as for each of this uh, particular trigger. So, four copies of that, making sure that you can have this one, and it's also sort of reinforced by reinforced running, which is also four copies in the deck. This is a one to cast two to haste at the beginning of end step. You will return it to your owner's hand, and it is also has the channel where you can discard it for draw a card. But the purpose here is that you can have also a one to cast or one drop uh, two two in haste, which can also trigger that of wormlet, and uh, that makes it for every turn at least you can have this one as your main source of trigger. So, in total, that is your eleven one drops on this one. It is then followed by these two drops. Particularly with all of the CTT creatures, this is Gala Greeters for the version. You can produce uh, treasure tokens, gain life, or put a counter on Gala Greeters whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control. We also have Patch Automaton, also the same ability that whenever you cast an artifact spell, you can put uh, counters in it. And then also has a protective ward too, which makes it uh, very <coughs> somewhat uh, annoying to deal with with spot removals. And we also have Scrapwork Mod. This is also for copies in the deck. A Tutu cast 2 2 artifact creature dog. When it enters the battlefield, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. So that also helps you not only having a 2 drop, but also kind of fixing your hand. And also, as it's a nurse trigger that uh, it can uh, paint uh, red and one, return this card from the graveyard to the battlefield, and it gains haste, but you will just exile it in your next end step. Or it would leave the battlefield. So. That's sort of a recurring aggro and per se, which also do uh, both your triggers without a wormlet, the gargreters and such. But what supports on this one are these uh, non creature artifacts. You can see here, you can have this uh, Mr. Scissors decks, sacrifice uh, it, except that up two cards in the library, and then choose one of them. You may play that card, sort of a gas on this one, also on Earth 2, with uh, four copies. You have Oni called Anvil. So this is also going with the unveil route with having this trigger that whenever one or more artifacts you control leave the battlefield during your turn, you will create this bonus uh, colorless construct artifact creature token. And uh, as long as it only triggers once, but you can have uh, sim uh, several interactions with, uh, with the wormlet or the automaton or the galgators in play. And also you can have this one activated by sacrificing artifact, you will have to deal with damage to each opponent, you will gain one life. So this is your other route to gain uh, extra damage and also produce these attackers on your board. And also we have this new card from uh, March of the Machines, the Azulet, the Shattered Spire. This is sort of the ability that whenever one or more some um, counters would be added to our teacher or artifact control, you can add an additional Pasamason counter instead. So and also have this ability you can activate this to put a counter to teacher or artifact creature or creature you control. And then activation speed is only that of sorcery and also with the option to be able to cycle this one but the option here is that having this passive ability would make this of your threats bigger and 
better damager in the early game. And with that, with the two copies of the Ozolith Shattered Spire, we also have two copies of Urobas Forge. It's just a continuous uh, producer of the X1 Red Parection Horror Creature Token with Trample equal to the number of uh, oil counters. So at the beginning of your combat uh, step, you will put a uh, counter on this one and it succeedingly produces this uh, Parection uh, Horror Creature Token at least once per turn and be able to add as your additional attacker for your board. Now, in the support of that, we have uh, one copy of sor Sorcery Spell Duress to make sure that you can check up your opponent's hand and do the discard the removal or any mass removal that they have. And also, we have uh, several instants here with uh, one copy of Cut Down and two copies of Go for the Throat. So, as you can have a good uh, removal for any bigger sets that we can bypass so that our early threats can go past through and do deal enough damage to win against that match and for the 22 lands the pretty much of the fixing lands the capulain gorge black leaf cliffs also rubbles and forests and the norway of course these are the pain lands that making sure that the untapped lands are uh, consistent and we have a long copy of magazine gardens wherein you can become a copy of the target uh, non-token artifact you control with mana value x so that also depends on certain situations wherein we can be able to use this one to activate and become unnecessary threat in your setup now for the sideboard let's just have a quick check on this uh, board we have additional copies of cutdowns for aggro matchups probably for soldiers for mono red and other uh, maybe mono black aggro if your metagame has permits in this we have also three copies of duress against mid-range and control decks to make sure that you can discard and uh, get out of the removals before they can be able to deal with your creatures additional copies of highway mat for utility uh, purposes of exiling this uh, artifact or enchantments and we have also two copies of the thematic barrage that can deal five damage to target the uh, white or blue creature or fence walker and also can be countered in the process we also have blood out so this is uh, a sort of an uh, excel effect by targeting opponents uh, the excel of prince walker or creature they control with the greatest mana value among the creatures of Prince Walker to control. So this is also a good utility card. And this is from the Aftermath uh, set. We also have two copies of Brothers and End. Um, I'm not pretty sure if uh, it will be used against other aggro since it can also kill off your own creatures, but maybe in certain situations where you would have your opponent com commit on their uh, uh, board and just use Brothers End to wipe them out before you place up your own. And also two copies of uh, Onyx Silist Bursari. It's also another good card to go against uh, mid-range and control decks because of the casual X and have this life plus effect that uh, they would <coughs> lose one life unless they would discard a card. If you control a demon and devil, you will gain two life on the setup. And uh, that with that uh, sideboard plan, it's pretty much basic that uh, you can just go ahead uh, to put out any removals for aggro, discard spells for Jure for duress and uh, of next list against control and mid-range and more of these uh, specific uh, color housers with the uh, automatic barrage and blood out to deal with your opponent's threats and last but not the least we check on the mana value it's pretty much very cheap to cast with the average of 1.61 the color distribution is pretty much okay we have uh, eight for black uh, green is nine and red is ten but the color uh, mana producer here is pretty much of that of the uh, exact to cater all of these uh, mana requirements and uh, of course here are tokens that you can use their constructs the devil token uh, prediction horror from the forge and treasure token of course and i think that's basically it if you uh, tried this one or faced a similar deck for your daily grinds in mtg or mtg arena just let me know in the comments below what uh, your take or what has uh, you observed to be that of the strong points or weak points of that deck and we can have a good discussion on this and how we can improve this one or we can have uh, some replacements of these uh, specific cards that we can have so as the main strategy of this uh, deck would still be in process and uh, being uh, observed as of this uh, update so i guess that's about it on this uh, deck tech with one one can call this one as giant artifacts maybe Jan Artifacts Agro by Anonymous and if you like this video there's uh, we have also some previous uh, deck texts in our channel you can check those up
for Mushroom the Machines and Mushroom the Machines Aftermath. And for future videos, just uh, make sure that you have the notifications bell on so that you can be the first to be notified once new uploads for these kinds of content will be done to our channel. Thank you again for watching, guys, and see you on the next video.